Boker Tov, good morning. Today's Friday, June 24th. Erev Shabbat Parshat Shlach. Shlach. Lacha Nashim, the Torah says. God instructs Moshe, send forth men. We're going to go into Eretz Yisrael and check it out and bring back a report. That's we know the story pretty well, I imagine. And uh, we actually use three different verbs as we retell the story, tell the story um, to describe what it is that these men do. We refer to them firstly as miraglim, which is loosely translated as spies. Liragel is to spy. Um, Vayach Peru is another word to kind of dig up information. And they're there. That's one read of this. They're, kind of, they're there to bring back info, help us understand, um, help uh, uh, the Jewish nation to know where the weak points, strong points, strengths of Israel, etc. That's what's all... That's, just, that's the study of the Parsha we need to do. And yet the Torah begins with Vyaturu et Eretz Kenan. Vyaturu et Eretz Kenan. It's an unusual word. Latour. Latour, um, which we often use, even in modern Hebrew, to describe a tourist. To, uh, to casually go about and take in all the sights. Vyaturu et Eretz Kenan. Maybe that's part of the cover. But uh, that's the word that's used. And yet, and here's uh, a teaching that uh, my, uh, my, my Rebbe, Rabbi Shlomo Riskin, um, shared many uh, years ago. I'm sure there are some commentaries that he builds upon as well. That uh, he notes the way the Parsha opens and closes. It opens via Turu with Eretz Kanan. And in the end, you have Parshat Tzitzit. The discussion about... Uh, Wearing tzitzis, where the Torah says, You'll see it, and you remember all the commandments of God. And you will not, I don't know, uh, stray is a kind of weak version of it after your heart and your, and your eyes. But it's not just straying, it's because you know, where the next word is zonim acharehem, and you actually are harleting after those things. Things that really are going to get you excited. So the, the aturu seems to mean um, to, to have a very strong desire, to, uh, to really um, yearn for something. In the case of the end of the parsha, it's for the things that are forbidden to you. And in the case of the beginning of the parsha, the goal is to send people over who will come back having fallen in love, deeply desiring Eretz Yisrael. And you have two people who are there, Yehoshua and Kalev. They're all in. And there are these ten other men who are not, for whatever reason, whether it's um, they, they, they purposefully cut themselves off or it just doesn't work for them. All they see is the trouble that's there. They don't see um, the, the beauty of the land, the promise of the endeavor, and the, the future of the Jewish people there. I was thinking about this uh, over the past few weeks. Um, first around a simcha and then around a, a loss. Uh, Simcha is my, my nephew who made Aliyah with his family a few years ago, um, made a bar mitzvah. I wasn't able to go. I was here uh, around the shul dinner time. My sister and her family uh, you know, went, and my brother also joined, which is very nice. And it was an opportunity for my nephew to kind of show off his new life, the life that he's made there with his four children. Um, settled in and created a life for himself. He's so proud of um, in, in, in Eretz Yisrael. I'm raising my kids in the in the in the heart of of the Jewish present and future. I was thinking as well. I was I had uh, the uh, sad opportunity to listen and watch a the the, uh, the Zoom funeral of the wife of someone who I used to uh, work with. They had made Ali. Uh, I had known him when I was a student at Yeshiva University, and I uh, took a job at MTA, the high school there. To, uh, to run the, after, the Sunday afternoon clubs, a thankless and impossible do- job. And he was the new um, assistant principal at the school, and we just had a nice relationship. And um, some 30-plus years ago, he was invited to, 
he and his wife, who were, she too was a mechanechet, she was uh, involved deeply in, in chinuch, in education here in the United States, and the, the, the eulogies for her, that's what we'll talk about in a moment, because she passed away, just so powerful. They, they decided to, give, to leave their, the roles that they were playing in this country, make aliyah, they were uh, working at uh, the Gris Center for a number of years, um, she took a position at the Midrash at Lindenbaum as, a, uh, as an administrator and for, for more than almost 25 years, and he took a position at uh, Yeshivat Haaretzion as um, mashkiach, a guide, personal guide, and just a wonderful, both of them, just wonderful, um, loving people with, with beautiful reputations. And um, as, I, as I watched this funeral, uh, I looked around the room, and I knew many of the people that were there, and people who had um, made different decisions than I had and many of my other friends and colleagues have, um, where I feel good that I'm here making a difference for our community in teaching and uh, hopefully inspiring and guiding and, 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 and lovingly carrying a community. Um, but I do think, what would, my, what would my life have been like or what could it be like if I were living in Eretz Yisrael and living out... Um, that, 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 that dream and that vision and that mission. And it, and it just put to all of us, even if whatever the explanations are for why we are here, that we can't allow ourselves to, to fall into the fate of the, the emotional fate of the Miraglim, of those 10 people who just their hearts didn't hold the connection at some point. Maybe they never, never developed the connection and didn't hold a connection deeply for Eretz Yisrael, even if our lives are here and need to be here for, for a whole you know, list of reasons they might need to be, that we need to help um, develop, cultivate the, uh, the passionate yearning for the, the, the state of Israel, the land of Israel, the people of Israel to feel that connection and not allow ourselves to disconnect, but to feel and yearn for uh, all that is meant to be for the Jewish people in the land that God has enabled us to live in once more. We should be, we, we need to develop um, the tour, the tour, the aturu, that capacity in our hearts and in our minds and in our souls. Wishing you all Shabbat Shalom.